Hello and welcome back to part 2 of the shoot mechanic tutorial. In part 2 of the series we created our shoot mechanic. The link for that will be in the description below. Before we start I'm going to fix a few errors in our ship controller. So if you open that up. So the first thing we've got to change is the time dot delta time we use to lower our next file. So instead of doing time dot delta time we have to do time dot fixed delta time. The next thing we've got to change is when we reset our next fire. So instead of doing next fire equals 1 divided by fire rate, we do next fire is plus equals fire rate, 1 my, uh, divided by fire rate. The reason behind this is because both of these will uh, cause inconsistencies with our fire rate. So if you save that, go back to Unity. So in today's video, we're going to be creating the asteroid prefabs as well as the damage interactions between the bullet and the asteroids. The difficulty of today's video is going to be the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. Also, if you haven't already, the asset packs we'll be using in today's video is the asteroid pack and the spaceship pack. Don't forget, if you want to start from this point in the series, you can always download our project off GitHub. The link for that will be in the description below. So to start off, I'm going to add our asteroids into the scene. So I'm going to select all of our asteroids using shift and drag those into our hierarchy. Just going to position those so we can see them. So next thing I'm going to do is scale up the asteroids to about three. So next thing I'm going to do is add the mesh colliders to the asteroids. So I'm going to go to select them all, go to add component, physics and mesh collider. Then what I'm going to do is turn on convex and inflate mesh. Next, I'm going to go to the scripts folder and create our asteroid controller. So right click, create, C sharp script, and I'm going to call it asteroid controller. I'm going to add those scripts to the asteroids. And the last thing we've got to do before we start coding is create our asteroid prefabs. So I'm going to go to the prefabs folder and create a new folder called asteroids. So right click, create and folder. Asteroids. Open that and I'm going to create our asteroid prefabs. All right, so I'm going to open up our asteroid controller script, get rid of all this. So the first thing we want for the asteroid is for it to rotate in a random direction. So I'm going to create a private quaternion and call it random rotation. And then in our start function, so void start, I'm going to set our random rotation to be equal to random dot rotation. So now that we've set our random rotation, we want our asteroid to rotate over time. So in the update function, so void update. So in our update function, I'm going to do transform dot rotate. And in brackets, I'm going to do our random rotation dot Euler angles times 0 0.1 F times time dot delta time. So what this will do is rotate our asteroid at a speed of 0.1 over time. So I'm going to save the script there, go back to Unity, I'm going to test our script, and there we go. Our asteroids now rotate in a random direction. So the next thing we want to do is create the damage interactions between our ship's bullets and the asteroids. So I'm going to go into the asteroid controller, and what I want to do is create our health stats for our asteroid. So to keep it separate from our main script, I'm going to create another public class. So public class, and I'm going to call this asteroid stats. Do curly brackets. So as we're not deriving from mono behavior, at the top of our stats class, we need to do square brackets. And inside those square brackets, we need to do system.serializable. What system.serializable allows us to do is to display our class in the inspector. So for our health, I'm going to create two public floats. So public float. I'm going to create a max health float. And I'm also going to create a current health float. Right, so we've created our uh, asteroid uh, stats. To access our uh, asteroid stats in our asteroid controller, we need to do public asteroid stats. And I'm going to call this stats. So in our start function, I'm going to set our asteroid's current health to be equal to its max health. So stats.currenthealth is equal to stats.current. 
max health. So once we've done that in the update function, I'm going to create an if statement for when the asteroid's current health is less than or equal to zero. So if brackets stats dot current health is less than or equal to zero, what we want to do is to destroy the game object. So destroy brackets game object. Now, if we save that, so I'm going to save that. And now we need to create the actual interaction between the bullet and the asteroid. So I'm going to go to the bullet controller. And to start off, we need to create our damage float. So public float damage. And to check if our bullet has interacted with our asteroid. So we need to do void on collision enter. And in brackets, we do collision and we have to give it a name. So I'm going to call it collision. So the next thing we've got to do is if brackets collision dot game object dot tag is equal to and in quotations we do asteroid we want to get the asteroids asteroid controller so we do collision dot transform dot get component and we want to get the asteroid controller do brackets then we do dot stats dot current health minus equals our damage and then after we've done that, we want to destroy the bullet. So destroy game object. So now that we've created the damage interactions between the asteroid and the bullets, I'm also going to make it so the bullet destroys itself after two seconds. So in the update function, so void update, I want to destroy the object. So destroy game object. And then we do a comma. And I'm going to do two for two seconds. This will basically destroy the bullet if it doesn't hit anything after two seconds. So I'm going to save that, go back to Unity. So first I'm going to set our asteroid's health to be increments of 10. I'm also going to apply those changes. Before we test the game, we have to go into our prefabs folder and set our bullet's damage. So I'm going to set that to about five. So before we test the game, we need to set our asteroids tag. So I'm going to select the asteroid, go to tag at the top of our inspector. I'm going to add a tag. I'm going to click the plus and call this a tag asteroid. So now if we select all of our asteroids and go back to tag, I'm going to set them all to asteroid. So I'm going to save our scene. I'm also going to apply those changes as well. So now if we test our game, our bullets now destroy themselves after two seconds. And if they hit the asteroids, they destroy themselves whilst de dealing damage to the asteroids, which will eventually destroy the asteroid. Before the video ends, I'd just like to give a special thanks to the artist behind our asset packs, Julian. You can find him on Instagram at woo.ju.digital. So that's all we've got for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. For updates on our asset packs and videos, don't forget to hit that notification bell and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For a more behind the scenes look into what we do, you can also follow us on Instagram. Links for those will be in the description below. My name is Joshua Mutu and thanks for watching.